Hi, welcome back to our series on candle making for beginners. Today we are going to discuss about the most important part of candle making process, choosing the right wick. So before that, um, we need to understand what is wick. Wick is a cotton piece in the middle of candle that you put it on fire. Whatever candle you use, cotton wick or wooden wick, whatever you light on fire, that's the wick. It is a huge part of candle making process and one of the most difficult part of the process. There are two different kind of sizes when it comes to a wick, the length and the gaze. The length is how long the wick is and there are a couple of different lengths available like 6 inches, then the 3 inches wick and the small one is specifically for tea lights. When choosing the length of your wick, you need to take into account of size of your jar. A shorter jar will require a shorter wick while a taller jar will require a longer wick. The gaze of the wick is the thickness of it. The gaze determines the melting pool of your candle which is the amount of heated and liquid wax that goes around the diameter of your candle. For candle makers, we want to make sure that a diameter of melting pool is reaching to the side of the candle so that it doesn't tunnel. When you have a wick that is too small, it will start to tunnel down the center of the candle and it won't reach the sides. At that point, it will basically drawn itself out and won't be flame anymore. On the other hand, if you have wick that is too big, it will burn through really quickly. Usually have a really high flame, lots of flickering and can be dangerous. When choosing a wick, you will see a series of letters and numbers. For example, Eco series has a wick ranging from Eco 1 to Eco 16 and the larger number, the bigger gauge of the wick. Similar HT series like HT 73, 93, 105, same CD also to 8. It's a higher the number, bigger the gauge of the wick. However, when it comes to wood wick candles, the process of slightly different you need to wick up or down and you can also double wick now let's talk about the factor that can affect which type of wick to use firstly we need to consider the container size and the type of wax you will be using once you have selected the container size and wax type you can start looking at the different wick option available the choice of wick will depend on the type of wax you are using the burn point of the wax and size of your container and fragrance oil for instance if you are using a higher burn point wax like b wax or soya wax you might want to choose a wood wick or cotton wicks if you are using a wax with a lower burn point like paraffin wax you might want to use cotton wicks it is important to note that different wicks has a different advantage wood wicks give a nice crackling sound of your candle but they burn fast which can impact your burn time on the other hand cotton wick burns slower which is great if you want to can burn your candle slowly and cotton wick is a traditional candle traditional it's they're using from many many years for those who are new in candle making, I would recommend it to use Candle Science Wig Guide on their website to choose the right wig for your candle based on the jar's diameter and type of wax. You can find the jar inner diameter on the website where you purchase it. If not, then you need to measure the diameter of your jar. To measure the diameter of your jar, take a measuring tape and measure from inner edges to the inner edges wick come in at different gauzes and generally the higher the number the bigger the gauze of the wick however this may be depend on the series of wick you are using if you are using soya wax you can choose from range of eco wicks which goes eco 1 to eco 16 to get best hot throw for your candle you need to find the right wick that work well with your jar wax and fragrance oil this requires some experiment and can be challenging once you have all this information, visit Candle Science website and find the recommended wick size. I would recommend to buy a one wick size up and one wick size down and the suggested wick. And you can buy as a sample bag or individually it's up to you. You can then conduct the wick testing with the different wick sizes to determine the right one for your jar. It can be frustrating and time consuming to find the right wick size but you can find support and resources on the Facebook group. It called DIY candle making beginners to advanced. Now let's talk about the burn test before you start making sure your candles are all exactly the same. This means using the same wax, container size, fragrance and color. 
I would recommend to wait few days before starting your burn test to let the wax and fragrance settle into the candles. When you start your burn test, light 3 to 5 candles at the same time and let them burn for 2 to 4 hours. Take a notes on how the candle burns, the size of the flame, the size of the melting pool, the temperature of the jar and any other observation you may have. This will help you to determine whether the wick you choose is the right fit for your candle. Lastly, it is important to remember that the guide provided by Candle Science is just a general guide. You need to make changes based on your specific candle making process and write it down so each time you can make a perfect candle. I hope this will help you to choose a right wick for your candle. If you have any question, please comment in the comment box. I'll try my best to answer them. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. See you next week.